Hi everyone, I am here with this little guy. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> He's sleepy. Um, but I wanted to come and um, talk a little bit more about my personal experience with the supplements, the gadgets, the lasers, um, and clarify a few things because I think if you're new to me or new to this type of message, it seems like it's you know, against everything that's not nothing, basically. And um, it's not that. It's just what I'm for is everything that you don't have to purchase. And so just because of how um, limited we are with language and with being able to explain something as magnificent as everything um, that the body has the capacity to interface with, we're limited in the ability to convey these types of topics and so um, since I have more time here in this space with you I thought I would come and just address some of this from a personal perspective not just from how I use it in practice and why I do the things that I do. Um, so everything that I did in medicine was exactly the opposite. It was starting out with pharmaceuticals and surgeries and that level of intervention because that's the medicine that I subscribed to at that time until I got sick and was diagnosed with all of those different words and was basically told, you know, that there was no other option for me. I had it for the rest of my life. Good luck. And then it led me to this other world of um, integrative first, then holistic, and then eventually naturopathic. Um, and then just because of the way that I think, the way my brain works, I wanted the truth of the truth of the truth because I had been deceived on the other side and I didn't feel good and basically left by myself um, and they demolished all the hope that I had and a lot of the trust that I had within that system and even what I was going to give my life to um, doing as a career <laughs> and so then within this other I started seeing how it wasn't pure and how the language started being a reflection of the language that I had seen on the other side and how natural medicine had to jump through these hoops to even get to be acknowledged as medicine, um, at least within the United States. And um, so the hoops that we had to jump through started pulling in standard of care, started pulling in um, lots of things that you see in the allopathic model, algorithms, um, and these flowchart based methods of treating patients. And that's not what I had experienced when I started doing the investigation and choosing to go in the natural uh, direction. And so I was sick at the time of going into medical school, which a lot of you know, and then um, I became my own patient zero and I tested everything from homeopathy to herbal medicine. Um, I got certified in advanced IV therapy, peptides, laser therapy. Um, I was certified in functional neurology. I was certified in um, infectious disease and rare diseases and um, immunology. And I got certified in everything, which meant at the same time, I was trying all of this stuff. And that's how I know that it didn't work. <laughs> Not because I have a vendetta against something. Um, and I don't even, it's not even that I'm fighting anything. I'm just trying to show you cut to the chase of saving you the time, the energy, the money, the effort, um, the ache, uh, the exhaustion of going through all of it to the extreme just to turn back around and find that the answer was held in the simplicity, <laughs> in truths that we all have and that are never away from us. And so it's not that I'm against these things, it's just I saw the absolute futility in relying on them to change something. And when I stopped all of the nonsense, I started improving quicker. And that was something that was very, um, alarming at the time to see because we were taught all the stuff we were basically taught how to be the world's best salesman of all of the natural stuff and if there was a word that was too big or too scary we'd refer out 
And again, that was just like, so how does that even make any sense? How <laughs> It doesn't. And so that's when I went into trying to identify truth and not being against it, but just going into it and say, show me what's true. Show me what actually works without exception. Show me what is the absolute truth with regards to healing the physical body. And when I did that, again, that's when I landed here. And that's why it's not like a Cassie protocol or a Cassie method because it's the world you live in. It's the you method. It's, it's the human method, the human life, artistry, dance, composition, um, experience. And so that's how I got here was through doing it all the wrong way, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars getting educated from the best of the best coming straight out of Germany, straight out of China. Um, all I went to all of those conferences. I'm certified in all of it. I used almost all of it. Um, some of the stuff I just didn't align with. <laughs> um, and so I didn't allow certain things to be put into my body um, because I always did the research of where does this come from and what is it and all of that. Um, but for the most part, I tried everything and got certified in everything just to find that it only made things worse um, and was never a solution. And so then I didn't want to be a peddler of bullshit, of just making money for all of these people through my heart, through my passion, through my voice. And that's what I realized medicine was. And so then that's when it was like, well, then I'm not a doctor. <laughs> if that's what a doctor is, then I'm not that. And that's how I landed here. So when you see me come and talk about these things, it's not from the perspective of this purest uh, history. It's from the exact opposite. It's coming straight out of the allopathic model and then straight out of the functional model and then straight out of even the integrative model and then straight out of the actual naturopathic, which should be the purest of the pure. And even, um, you know, from what they call the purists within that educational model, I did that too. And so um, I'm like you, I'm not unlike you. I'm not this rare, you know, bird that somehow got to heal all of those words just with <laughs> existing. I had to do the excavating, I had to do the searching, the detective work, the trial and error. And I did it on myself because I never wanted to be in a position of the doctor that had me come into their office and say, demolish somebody's hope, demolish their outlook on life, demolish um, their optimism. I never wanted to be in that position. And then I also never wanted to be in a position where I was lying to people, selling something that I had no idea how it tasted, what it would do, what the upper limit of it was, um, how much you needed. I didn't want to be a parrot of an industry. And so that's the passion that comes behind this. Um, it's not, you know, I don't have any hate for anything. Um, everything taught me something. And I have used the wisdom that I gained from all of that. And that's this medicine. You don't need that stuff. Often it's a distraction. Almost always it's a distraction and leaves you in the position um, longer than you should if you didn't rely on those things to anesthetize you and keep you comfortable. And so when I learned that, that's where this medicine came from was this, you don't need it. <laughs> and here's how to do it without it. And it's powerful and it's a lot of work and it's never, I mean, if you've worked with me, you know, it's never a visit where you leave really liking me. <laughs> and that's the nature of this work. That's the nature of my promise to only, you know, go for truth. And that often leads to the questions you don't want to ask, the things that you don't want seen, the places and the crevices you don't want to go into. And we distract away with all this other stuff. You call it traumas, call it um, lots of different things, but they're just, you know, these flags, that sleight of hand to say, look over here, instead of look back here where I actually can and should do something. And so that's the nature of this work and that's the urgency behind it. And so maybe if you take that perspective and go back and listen to the things that I say, or take that perspective and go reread my words from a perspective of somebody who not only bought into all of it, but was going to give her life to doing that for others and like believe in it. And I tried to believe in it. I wanted to believe in it. 
I gave it everything from money to time to pieces of my life and it could not hold and it never gave the results and I had to be the one in the you know clinic saying these things asking these questions and everyone just thinking you know that I was whatever it doesn't even matter um but I asked the questions and I kept asking until I got the answers um that made sense and that were true and had no exceptions no matter who you are what color your skin is what you believe in where you're from that level of truth and so again maybe you'll get a different flavor if you see from that perspective versus this versus this um how the world is kind of set up to monopolize and monetize and um grasp for your attention because that's really what this app is doing is everyone's trying to grab your attention and sell you something and so again go reread it from a perspective of the medicine is already given it's not trying to lead you in a direction where you go buy the medicine the medicine is given so if you read it from that perspective and if you also read and listen from the perspective of somebody who fell for it all in her most desperate time in her weakest time in the time where she was most available for the most seductive type of information and she ingested all of it <laughs> tried all of it used all of it um so maybe that will help you here a different perspective and then go back and use the resources here um that are given for free um all of the everything i've ever shared is the medicine is trying to put into words this beautiful wonderful thing that you're sitting on it's sitting here right with you right now um as real as you know him as real as everything that's around you right now so it's just realizing it and then understanding it and then um like a lot of you say when we work together when you get it <laughs> then you go back here and read the stuff i say and they'll come to me and be like so you're saying it the whole time i'm like of course i was um or they'll say they totally get a totally different perspective of what is written what is spoken um and then the cutest thing the thing i've absolutely fallen in love with because then i'm like i know is when you, you guys are like when you get it when you taste it touch it use it um play with it in your real life and then your physical body changes and then you're excited and you want to share with the ones you love and you want to share with and you're it's like language doesn't have enough words yet or the combination um within language doesn't have enough to contain what we're trying to convey and that's the beauty of it and that's what i'm here doing so i um, just wanted to put that here because it's not me against anything it's me it would be like going to somebody who practices homeopathy and asking them why they're not selling medications or talking about how great medications are or using medications that's not what they use and for me I don't use any of it <laughs> so i'm not going to talk about it i'm not gonna you know does it exist sure can you manipulate a body with pretty much anything absolutely is it true medicine absolutely not and so that's that's the difference here so it's not me against anything it's just what i'm for all right thank you for being here thank you for sharing your time um hope something sink in if anything take that perspective go back and see what you can extract um, from everything written. And then one more little dose of cuteness. Beautiful. Do you want to tell them hi? He's too sleepy. <laughs> He's too sleepy. All right. Thank you all.